This member of the Bichon family is the Havanese, as it hails from Havana in Cuba. This dog was probably brought to the West Indies by traders who sailed from continent to continent on the silk route. Captains often carried illegal contraband to be sold to wealthy Cuban landowners and the gift of one of these precious little dogs meant the senora would open the doors of her home for them to trade. At that time it was called the Blanquito de la Habana which complemented the Cuban tastes of that time. White clothing, soft food, indulgent manners and good looks. Puppies bred by the wealthy landowners were never sold, but rather they were gifts to close friends and family members. Cuba's communist revolution after World War II almost decimated the breed. However, three families smuggled their little dogs out of Cuba with them when they fled the country, and these are the basis for today's Havanese. The Havanese is a sturdy little dog, low on his legs, with a body length to height ratio of four is to three. He has a balanced head with skull length equal to the length of the muzzle with a moderate stop between. As with all the Bichon family, the eyes are large and dark, with dark eye rims and a kind expression. The Havanese has a long, abundant coat, which is soft and preferably wavy. There is also sometimes a woolly undercoat present. He comes in two colours, firstly white, with or without fawn in varying shades, with black overlay permissible, or secondly, black or party-coloured of fawns or black and white. 